Hi friends, Mrs. Rushton here. This week, we have been studying about the artist Esther Malongu. She's a South African artist who works in the traditional style of the Ndubel people. And so we are going to be creating our own artwork in the same style. You're going to be following along with me a few step-by-steps and then you'll have some freedom in creating. So here you can see I am starting with a piece of paper and I went with a small piece of paper, a ruler or anything that has a nice straight edge and a variety of markers. I'm gonna start with my black marker. First thing I want for us to do is to create a border. What I want for you to do is to take your ruler from one edge, we're gonna work with a vertical edge, our up and down vertical edge. And we're gonna just come in slightly from the edge there and use your marker and press it right up against that ruler and draw a nice straight line. What I like to do is to then rotate my paper. I think it's a little easier to hold my ruler that way. So same thing, come in from the edge, hold the paper with my fingertips and draw my line. I'm pressing pretty hard with my marker so I get a nice thick line. I'm gonna do this on the last two sides. Great, now we have our border around the paper. And so what we're going to do now is to create two diagonal lines that basically create an X across the middle of the paper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at where our lines crisscross in the corners here. And we're going to connect those like we connect the dots with a straight line. So to make that straight line, gotta use your ruler. So put your ruler on those two lines where they cross and on these two lines where they cross and hold the ruler down with your fingertips. Start right there and draw a straight line. And that's a diagonal line. We're gonna do another diagonal line going this way. So you can rotate your paper if you'd like, or you can leave it where it's at. Line up corner to corner or crisscross to crisscross. And draw your line. Great. Look at that. That has very clean sections. So now what you're going to do is you're gonna to start to think about shapes. So I have some little cutouts and I'm just gonna show you some options and then I'll show you how I actually add it to my artwork. So if I'm thinking of geometric shapes, circle comes to mind first for me. And if you remember, we are working with symmetry. If we drew a line down the middle, it would be the same on this side as the same on this side. So whatever I put, over in this triangle section, I'm gonna put the same thing over here so that it is symmetrical. So let's say I decide I wanted to do a circle over here. I would do the same circle over there. Now let's think about what we might add to the top and the bottom. Maybe I'm gonna think about squares. So I just have a few squares here I could use. So if I put a square there, I'm also going to put a square there. All right, let's switch something out. Let's see, what about, I know a lot of us really love heart shapes, but I'm gonna use a heart shape sideways. So what if I used a sideways heart there? I would need to do a sideways heart there. And then let's switch out this top part and think of maybe a diamond shape, which is really kind of a square on its side. So let's see if I had a purple diamond there. I would also need to do a purple diamond there. So this is what you're gonna do. I'm gonna have you pick two shapes and draw it twice. That's the basic. If you wanna add more, I'm gonna welcome you to do that. So let me take these off of here and I'm going to actually start with my black marker and then I'm gonna color it in with a color. And I really liked using that circle, but I'm gonna change it and I'm gonna make a little bit of an oval and I'm gonna do an oval here. It's not perfect, but that's okay. I'm gonna do another oval on the top of here. All right, they're pretty similar. Not exact, but similar. And then over here, I think I'm going to do, let's see, how about the square shape? So 
one square over here. And I need to do a square over here. Awesome. Now it's time to add color. And if you think back to the video that you watched before this one, showing you all of uh, the artist Esther, all of her work, you will see she uses vibrant colors. So I have several different markers here and I'm just going to go ahead and add some color. There you have it. What a cool piece of artwork. I cannot wait to see what shapes and colors you choose to use on your artwork. And don't forget, if you wanna add more design, I'm gonna welcome you to do that. Now, don't forget to take a picture and insert it into your Google Slides so that I can see your beautiful artwork. Good work, artist. Until next time, toodly-doo.